want to talk to you guys about one of um, my favorite oils, but also an oil that may be on your wish list, and that's Melissa. So I want to talk to you, why is she so stinking expensive? Why this little five milliliter is, well, let's just say I'm looking here, and it, hopefully you're a wholesale member, which means you get your 24% at least, your discount, and that would be $162, because retail she costs $213 as of the 2019 product guide. So let's talk and talk about why is she so expensive? So a couple of different reasons. First of all, um, you need to know that we grow her at our St. Mary's farm here in Idaho. So that's pretty much the best place that she grows. I know that they have taken um, taking the Melissa plant over to Mona, Utah, where our bigger plant or our bigger farm is, and we have more room there. And the climate is very similar, but she has not prospered very well there. And so she's very picky. She's very picky to grow. She's very picky to, um, to uh, uh, harvest, and she's also very picky to distill. Once they pick her, they actually leave her on the tarps sitting right there in front of the distillery for about a day and then they distill her. So it's a very slow process, not only to pick her where she, once she is picked, she is actually put onto the tarps and then to let her lay there for a while and then finally distill her and then bring the next batch in. So yeah, um, very picky and persnickety. So I'm sorry if you have children named Melissa, it's nothing personal. Young Living did not name the plant that. Um, she is a lemon balm plant. And so let's talk about some of the key constituents, not only because she's so expensive to grow, but why would we take such measures to grow her? So first of all, um, in the past that she has been used for nerves disorders, so I'm getting a lot of my information from the essential oils pocket reference. I'm gonna try to stay as compliant as possible though, so if um, there seems to be some information that I'm missing, it's because I'm trying to stay compliant. Um, so in the past, they've also um, dealt with her, or used her for the heart or the emotions. Um, she was the main ingredient in um, a specific water in France um, used by the monks. So the University of Maryland um, said that it was used as far back as the Middle Ages to help with uh, redu reduce stress and anxiety, promote sleep, improve appetite, and ease pain and discomfort from indigestion. So that's how it's been used in the past. Um, so it also uh, makes the heart merry and joyful. Um, and so recent studies have documented some of its um, other medicinal properties that I can't speak of compliantly, um, but I know from my personal experience, I have um, used it and it has worked with some of um, some of the issues that I really can't speak about compliantly here, um, even though it's my own experience. Um, if you would like to know more about that, I can share that with you personally. So. Um, a lot of the times, um, the fragrant influence, um, it helps balance out your emotions. It's very lemony, it's like a lemon balm. It's from the mint family, um, used from a variety of reasons. Um, let's just say that. Uh, gosh, I wish I could tell you about more. Um, so it is distilled here um, in Idaho. Um, it has been distilled in France before as well. It is a steam distillation. And so if, let's say, you don't have $162, even though you are a member, no, you cannot use your, your essential reward points to buy Melissa, I'm sorry. So uh, if you can't, there's a couple of different suggestions that I have for you. First of all, you can try these oils. Um, and also, if you've noticed that some of these blends are a little bit more expensive, it's because they do have Melissa in them. So you can try Brain Power. And that should um, insinuate a little bit on how um, one of the properties that it can help with. It is also in Awaken. So that's another one that I really enjoy um, breathing in when, gee, I need to be awake. Um, some powerful ones in the purple family, such as Hope and Forgiveness, is both uh, Melissa's in both Hope and Forgiveness. And I do know that Hope we just recently got free as a promo. Um, but it is also pretty spendy oil. Mm, I can smell it too. And once you know that distinct smell, you can you can pick it up. You can smell the, the lemon balm in there. Um, another one that is also in is in White Angelica. Um, if you know the properties and the power of White Angelica, this is, this is another good one to have. And then it's also in our supplement, multigrains. So, multigrains. I'm trying to get it without the glare from the, the light. So, Melissa is also in here. So, there are ways to get Melissa into your body um, without actually having to buy the hugely expensive oil. 
it is definitely worth it. Just remember a couple different things. First of all, Young Living Essential Oil is the purest oil here, any brand here in the world. I, I would even just go to say in the world. So our, our, our seed to seal promise tells you that from the time that we've put that seed into the ground, we are testing the soil, we are testing the water, we're testing the seeds, we're testing the plant as it grows, we're testing it every single step of the way. And also once it's picked and harvested, even before then we test it, we test it as we're distilling, we test the oil that comes out after it's distilled. And then not only that, but then it's tested when it gets over to Mona, Utah before it's actually bottled. So, so much testing goes into our quality. So people have asked me, well, you know, I can get Melissa from blah, blah, bland or brand, excuse me. And I can say, yeah, you absolutely can. Melissa is not a, an oil only done by Young Living. It's not a specific blend. So therefore we don't have the trademark to it. However, I would say, can you go on to your farms that grow Melissa? Can you guarantee that it has the same chemical constituents as the one that I'm holding here in my hand? Because I know this is 100% pure. Just remember that in order for other people to be able to say that their oil is pure, there only needs to be 3 to 4% of the actual oil in here. So do check, make sure on the bottom of your bottle, there's not an expiration date. If there's an expiration date, there is a carrier or a synthetic oil in there, which will lead it to expire. The only thing that's on here for ours is a lot number. That's it. That's it. So maybe that if the, the lot, the label got put on wrong or the lid got put on wrong or the orifice underneath it, that way I can call in and say, hey, customer service, I had problems with this lot number. There you go. So it's not an expiration date. So make sure you are getting your oils. If you're gonna pay that much for an oil, for frankincense, for Melissa, then make sure you're getting it from a, a true source that is completely 100% grown organically and they have that promise backed up. How, how do we know? Because I can go onto the farm. I can go on tomorrow, tomorrow's weekday. I know the team's gonna be there. Jacqueline would be there and she'd be saying, hey, Stacy, you don't have a tour ready, but um, sure, did you wanna come check it out? See where Melissa's being grown this year? Absolutely, I can do that. Can you do that with your farms? And you're like, oh, I don't live there. Okay, not the point. Can you do that with your farms? Can you walk on without an appointment? If you can't, there's something wrong. And you're like, well, but you know what? So we don't own any farms. Well, we never go out of stock either because we get our oils from other places. That's great, but how do you know that they're con you're controlling what their growing processes are? Okay, so if you're getting your Melissa oil or your frankincense oil for super cheap, you're paying for super cheap because you're getting super cheap. You're probably not getting the real oil. So just know the reason why things are so expensive is because, my goodness, they, they are expensive for a reason. The quality is there. So like I said before, I don't even need to actually put this on. I, the frequency from the oil is a high frequency. So I can actually put it in my pocket, which led me to wash it in the first place and, and actually reap benefits of it. I can sit here and hold it throughout dinner tonight and know that I'm going to reap some of the benefits, not the best benefits from it, but definitely some of the best benefits. I know that I can also put like, put it under my nose and not even drop a drop in my hands and I will receive some of the benefits just because this oil is so powerful. Also know there's about 90 drops in here. So know that this could take me 90 uses to use. So if I used it every day, that would be three months worth. That's totally worth it if it's something that you need to use it for. I don't scan for this all the time. You won't need it all the time, but it's definitely worth it. So go per use, you know, take that price, even though it's a big price and divide it by 90 drops, okay? So next time you think about the price of your oils, remember what it is that you're paying for and remember the seed to sale promise backed behind it.